Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kelhaven Ranch. It's a balmy 40 degrees today, uh, December 28th. So I'm out in the apiary today, watching some cleansing flights going on, bringing out their dead and dropping them in the snow. Try to get some video of that. Also lifted up uh, the beehives themselves on one side so that they have an angle to them. And uh, that creates on the inside uh, an incline on the roof of the, the hive, causing any moisture that condensates up there to drip down to the back wall and then drip out the back of the hive instead of it raining on the bees. That's very important. So we finally had some weather that I could get out here and do this. It's looking good right now. I'm looking at about six out of the seven hives that we went into winter with. Uh, they're all active, making noise, melting snow. And uh, I'm going to reposition the camera here. Whoop! She just said hi to me. And uh, show you some bees flying. As usual, if you like our content, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button. Smash that like button. That really helps. Also, any comments? Love to read about comments. We got people asking uh, through email and also on comments asking for some of the hive plans and I'm working on those guys. They're coming up pretty quick and let's move the camera. With the weather as warm as it is, I'd really hope that we have some bees, some activity going on here, some cleansing flights. We're right at 40 degrees, as I said before, and uh, you can see the bees have been active as I clean the ramps off uh, periodically. We have bees down in the snow. We have bees right on the ramp. This is normal this time of year. Don't panic, don't freak out. The bees that come out and do cleansing flights, they go back in, they're just fine. These bees have reached the end of their life and either they have died within the hive and been carried out onto the front porch like we see here, or they came out to die they were chased out by other bees in the hive. One of the two. Either way, it's normal. Don't freak out. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lift up the front of the hive. Get these bricks off first. It might help. I'm gonna lift up the front very gently. And I'm gonna slide my spacer right underneath. That gives us our angle that we need so that any condensation within the hive is going to go towards the back of the hive and form on the back wall and then drip down and out. As a reminder, this hive that I have here is a double-sided hive. It was one of my uh, prototypes I've been working on. We'll see how well this particular colony does at the end of the year. Right now there's a big pile of bees on the front porch. That's normal, nothing to worry about. Let's move along. This hive is a good example of a hive I have concerns about. As you can see, we don't have any bee carcasses. It doesn't look like they've been active at all out the front. And that leads me to believe that not a lot's going on inside. I'll go ahead and put a spacer in here and tilt the hive. But right at the moment, it doesn't look that good. Okay, this is the same hive on the back side. I forgot. The bees had made their way out a small gap that I had between two different hive bodies and bases. I inadvertently put this together. They've been using this back entrance as their main entrance. From tilting this hive up and also the talking and movement outside on the hive, these Saskatraz bees, hey, I finally said it, Saskatraz bees, Definitely, you can hear them. This hive is alive. I have another clue on this hive also, and I'll show you, I have to move the camera. But on the very top, let's see if I can do this by hand. The very top of the hive, okay, looking at the top of the hive, you can see that I have an area here where it's all melted. The snow was melted off. 
Compare that to some of the other hives that I have, which is a solid sheet of snow. And that gives me a pretty good idea this hive is still active. They're clustered somewhere underneath there. The heat is coming straight up. Beautiful. The other two hives we have right next to this one, I'll move the camera. Pardon my camera work here. You can see the top of this one's melted and the top of this one's melted off. Real quickly, I'll run over and show you guys some that aren't the same. So these ones would concern me because they don't have any melt. This one here definitely has the melting. This one here, no melting. This one here, a lot of melting. This is our strongest hive. In fact, I have bees down at the entrance. I'll go ahead and set the camera down. As you can see, we have active bees in this hive. It's just warm enough. In fact, we have cleansing flights going on right now. I don't think I'll get too active in here because they'll get pissed. Might clear this away. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spacer in on the opposite side. So I don't wanna disturb them up here in front. This is our hive number eight. Hive number eight was the strongest of all the hives. Still is. Um, just lifting on it to get the spacer in. Ooh, she got mad at me. Um, this is a heavy hive, probably playing in the 100 to 120 pound range, maybe a little more. The reason why I'm cleaning this off here, number one, to give them plenty of room to get in and out through the front. And also so the next time I come out and check on the hive, I can go ahead and tell if there's been a lot of activity or not. So I think it's a little too cold for a cleansing flight right now. We're right at about 40. Oh, there she goes. She just hauled out that dead bee. Unfortunately, she landed down in the snow. Once they land in the snow, it's over. Um, they have a real hard time getting up in the air again and flying. The cold gets them. And as you can see, they got a pretty good build up of dead bees here, right at the entrance. That's sort of typical is they go to clean out the hive. Probably the smartest bees are the ones here getting some air, staying behind the screen. And let's see if I can get this on the camera. Guys, using my iPhone, can you see right here? That is bee poop. So just being this close to the hive with them flying around, they pooped on me. Yeah, it's pretty typical.